Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very exciting day. Let's get going. This is a very exciting day for me. Today is the day that my Delica and my 180SX leave Japan. Today, well, I guess it's actually already happened in Japan. It's the next day, so yesterday in Japan, my cars have boarded a vessel and are on their way to America. So, so exciting. It's been such a long wait, but they finally got scheduled. They're gonna be heading to Savannah Port. They were supposed to be going to Charleston, but upon further investigation, Charleston doesn't have roll on, roll off boats that entered their port they only do container shipments so we're gonna head down to savannah it's not much more of a drive from here it's maybe 20 extra minutes so no big deal there but i am super excited the cars will be here in about one month's time frame i'm up here in my spot if you guys have been watching some of the videos i'll come up here and do some videos sometimes this has been a spot that i frequented when i was younger hung out with some people but look at this we got some burnout marks right here and i happen to know who did these if you guys went over and followed another channel i asked you to busted knuckle productions he has a Mustang, and this is part of his tire. He just reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so he came up here and did like a celebratory burnout and did a little video of it, so you can go check that out on his channel if you want to. But, TJ, you're ruining my spot, bro. I'm coming for you, I'm gonna come do a burnout in your driveway. Snap some axles. Now, if you are new to the channel, if you're here for the neon content, I lived in Japan for quite a while. I import Japanese sports cars to America. These will be actually the first two other than my GTR that I sold. Uh, about six months ago that I'm bringing in. It is a 1993 Delica Star Wagon, Mitsubishi Delica Star Wagon. It's a turbo diesel four-wheel drive van, kind of like a zombie apocalypse. This thing looks sweet. I got some pictures of it right here. You can go watch some old videos on the car as well. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to get it back here. I think it's gonna be a huge hit with the crowd around here. I mean, everybody here loves lifted trucks. Everybody loves their, their diesel trucks and things like that. So I think bringing a van into it that is, you know, basically a, a lifted off-road van is going to be really awesome. The van has just around 100,000 miles. I think it's around 160,000 kilometers. So really not bad, especially for a van in Japan. Stupid bugs. Vans in Japan get driven so much more. Like you'll find vans at the auctions with 300,000 kilometers on them, whereas it's sometimes hard to even find any kind of like sports cars with over 150,000 kilometers. But like I said, I absolutely cannot wait to get the van here. Both the van and the 180 are supposed to be here in about one month. They should be here in the beginning of January. And I also have some pretty exciting news about the Garage Defend USA shop, but I'm going to save that for another video as well. The Delica, though, it's going to be sweet. I can't wait. We're going to do camping in it. We're going to do off-roading in it. I know some great spots to take it already as soon as it arrives. And if you're not into van life, we have the 180 coming too. 180 SX Type X. It's a 1994. It is a Type X. It is the SR20 DET. It's gonna be a ton of fun to drive. It's got only around 30,000 original miles. Miles, 30,000 miles for a 1994. I think it's got 48-ish thousand kilometers. So it's, you know, barely been driven. It was a one owner car. It was probably some old guy. I saw all the modifications were done on it. Like when he bought it, a few years after he bought it, I think most of the modifications were done like around 95, 98 time frame. And it doesn't have many mods. It's got like exhaust, coilovers. That's about it. I also don't think I've updated you guys on YouTube since the 180 was finished. If you were watching the videos when I bought the 180, it didn't look so good. It had a lot of paint kind of uh, fading, paint peeling, clear coat peeling, a little bit of rust, a couple small little dents. 
but check this thing out look at this thing freshly painted all the dents fixed it looks absolutely awesome it's a grayish pearl color that's actually the factory color it looks way more purple now though that the fresh recoat has been sprayed on it this thing is gonna be sweet to have in America now as much as I am probably going to love driving it I'm gonna put both of the cars up for sale as soon as they get here now I want to keep one of them a little bit longer obviously like I do love driving the neon around but I gotta have something Japanese something right-hand drive to drive around I just miss it so much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list the Delica for sale and the 180 whichever one sells first I'll keep the other one for a little bit longer at least a few months before I decide to sell it I'm sure we'll have a bunch of people saying well sell the Delica keep the 180 it's just gonna be whatever happens whatever sells first is what I don't keep the Delica would be awesome for all the adventures we can do in it and the versatility of it. The 180 would be awesome because it's a 180. It's a sports car. It's a Japanese sports car. We'll see. The 180 is going to be a little bit expensive since it is a one owner car with such low kilometers. I'm going to list it a little bit, not high, but I'm going to list it for what it's worth. There are some 180s with way more kilometers than mine and worse condition already in the States going for 20 plus thousand USD. So we'll see. I don't know. I'll probably list it somewhere a little bit above that, but... It's just a matter of time. I can't wait till this thing gets here, guys. The 180 looks amazing. The Delica has always been amazing. Ooh, it's about to get exciting here on the channel again. I know it's been a little bit stagnant lately here. Not a whole lot going on. But I do have some content planned for the next month until the cars get here. Another thing I want to do is when the cars do arrive, I'm going to go pick them up. I'm probably going to trailer one of them behind the Jeep and then have a friend or my dad trailer the other one behind his truck. But I want to do some kind of like if you spot me type giveaway thing. I don't know. I'm gonna make some signs and everything for the cars when we go pick them up. And if you guys can see me along the way, I'll have something with me. I don't know what yet. I gotta figure out something to give away. I'm excited guys. I just wanted to share the exciting news. I know this isn't much of a video, but it's exciting to know that the cars are finally on their way across the Pacific. No more typhoon season. Typhoon season officially ended a few days ago. So hopefully safe travels for the cars until they get here at the Savannah port in about a month. I have no updates for you guys on the Neon. Still just being a good daily driver. I haven't really done anything to it. I got a few little plans in the works, but nothing to rush about, nothing to freak out about, nothing to spend too much money on this car. I just want it to look good, perform good, and be a good daily driver for me. So I'll continue doing a few little things to it. But forget about the neon, we got Japanese cars coming. I'm just kidding, I still love the neon. Before I do let you guys go, I would like to ask a few questions here for you guys to comment below about. Number one, what do you think I should ask for the Delica? Like I said, it's a 1993 turbo diesel, four wheel drive, it's the automatic, it's got a refrigerator in it, it's got the crystal light, crystal light roof. It's got a lot of options, it's the Super Exceed model, so it's pretty much fully loaded with everything that was offered back then. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna offer. If you look online, I've seen some prices at some other dealerships in Canada and America that have some Delicas. And I think for the condition mines in, it's nicer than a lot of the ones that I've seen already for sale. I'm not buying crappy cars. Yeah, the 180 was a little bit rough looking at first, but I made it super nice. Uh, but I just wanna know, what do you guys think the, uh, the Delica would sell for? I'm trying to gauge pricing here and also on the 180. Like I said, I kind of have an idea for both of them, but I would like to hear some opinions on some consumers out there that would be potential customers. Now don't just spit out low ball numbers just to try to get me to list it low because I know what it's worth. I know what I want to ask and what I want to get for it, but I just kind of want to get some second opinions, third opinions, fourth opinions, 75,000 subscriber opinions. You guys just comment below, let me know what you think. Also, let me know what car you would rather see me keep for longer. Now, obviously, I'm not trying to do a whole lot of stuff to either car since I do want to eventually sell them. The 180 does still need a dash or a dash cover since it's pretty cracked. I wasn't able to find something in Japan before I left. So that's one of the main things I still have to do. The Delica is pretty much good to go. It just needs some cleaning up. The 180 just needs the dash and it'll be good to go. What car would you rather see stick around the channel for a little bit longer, the Delica or the 180? With all that said, I'm going to begin to wrap this video up. It's beautiful here in South Carolina. It's maybe 55 degrees. It's December 5th, 4th, December 4th, I think. The holidays are upon us and it couldn't be a more exciting time. This is my first time being back in the States, especially, well, being back in the States with family for the holidays this year. It's been the first time in probably seven or eight years, it seems like. And it is good to be back. What is this helicopter doing? It's kind of weird to see helicopters and airplanes again. In Japan, you don't see like personal helicopters or personal airplanes. Nobody owns that kind of stuff. Here in America, they're everywhere.
I will, I think, in a couple days be heading to the mountains. I'm going to start doing a series on... Welcome to America. Gunfire. We're not in the city limits, so anybody could be out here shooting if they want to. Kind of weird, too. Airplanes, helicopters, gunshots everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a series of videos coming up soon on toge roads of... South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, right here. We have some of the absolute best roads in the country right here within like a three hour radius of where I live. Some incredible roads, some within 15 minutes. And I'm gonna show you guys some of these roads through videos, through kind of documentary type videos maybe. I just kinda wanna showcase what's here because everybody thinks of Japan, everybody thinks of running the toge and all this. But in here in uh, America, here in South Carolina, Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, the best roads, the best roads in the country. And we used to run those roads, it was so funny. I think I just spit a little bit, but the local roads here within 20 or 30 minutes, it used to be like our stomping grounds. It used to be kind of like initial D, like where you have the Aquina Speed Stars and all these other cliques and groups that run their part of the mountain. And like, I'm not even messing around. It used to be like that where we would race like in other people's territory, it was so much fun. But I'm gonna do kind of a series of toge roads here and I'm probably gonna start that later on this week with some closer by roads. And then once we get the 180, we'll head up to the tail of the dragon. We'll head up to some of those more technical roads up in Tennessee, but we'll keep it close and do some awesome videos here over the next month. Anyways, I'm done jibber jabbering, talking y'all's ear off, just giving you updates and giving you news. More updates coming soon with Garage Defend, like I said, but for now, I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>